Hey everyone, for today's video I thought I would have a go at the challenge that's going around YouTube at the moment to do a full face of makeup using only one eyeshadow palette. For this I have chosen the Lorac Pro palette because there are a bunch of different colours in here. I already use espresso to do my brows so that will be absolutely fine. Um, there's a couple in here that I think will be nice for blush, for contour and highlight and we'll just see how we go with everything else. So the other videos that I've seen like this, people have started with their foundation and concealer already on and they've also used mascara like outside of the palette that they're using. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already got my foundation and concealer on. So I'm just going to use this for everything else except for mascara. So the first thing I need to do is set my foundation and concealer and I think for that I'm going to use the shade Cream because I think this is probably the closest to my skin tone. It, it's going to be a little light, but none of the other matte colours are the right colour. I'm just going to use a smaller brush for this instead of like a big powder brush because it just won't fit into the pan. Not that this will, but it's closer. That actually looks pretty nice. I was not expecting this nice of an outcome, but I guess we'll wait and see how everything else goes. So I think I'm going to do my face first because I can then match my eyeshadow to my face. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Taupe to contour and also just to bronze a little bit, like kind of what you would do with Hoola, how it contours and bronzes at the same time. I'm hoping that Taupe will do the same thing. It went on quite pigmented, but it's actually blended in quite nicely. I think that is alright. It's probably a little bit more defined than what I would normally do on an everyday basis, but I think that's absolutely fine. So that is contour and bronzer done. Next for blush, I think I'm going to take a mixture of light pink and mauve, these two here, just because light pink looks too light and mauve looks a little bit too dark, so hopefully if I just mix them together it'll be okay. Oh no. Again, I think I started with too much, or it looked like I started with too much because of the pigmentation, but it's actually, again, blended out quite nicely. So that is blush. It's probably a little heavy-handed, but it is what it is. So for highlighter, I think I'm going to go in with just tossing up between nude and champagne. I think I'll go with nude because otherwise it might not stand out now that I've put the cream all over my face, so the nude is a little bit lighter, so I'll go with that one. Oh wow. That's intense. For my eyes, I'm just going to keep it really simple because I don't want it to clash with the lip color that I'm going to do in a moment. So for my crease, I'm going to use taupe, and then for all over the lid, I'm going to use my favorite shade, which is light bronze, because that should just about go with everything. And unfortunately, no eyeshadow primer, because obviously it's not in this palette, so I'm just going to hope that it kind of looks okay without it, which it probably won't. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of sable to darken up the outer V. Now I'm going to take espresso and I'm going to use this to fill in my brows and I'm also going to use it just to kind of line my topper lash line a little bit.
So I just smudged espresso on my top lash line just so that it kind of blends into the eyeshadow look and doesn't look too much like I'm wearing a powder eyeliner. So now I'm just going to use mascara because you obviously can't do mascara with eyeshadow. So I will do that and come back. So with mascara on, the last thing to do is lipstick. And I'm thinking that I'm going to use Garnet for my lipstick because none of the other colors really look like lipsticks. So hopefully this one will work. I'm just going to use a lip brush from EXO Beauty. I'm going to dip it into the color first and then spray it with water and hopefully that way I can get it to look kind of like a lipstick. We will see. So the lipstick kind of works. I think it kind of looks like one of those metallic liquid lipsticks, but it is very, very drying. Obviously it is a powder, so I don't know what I expected, but like, I feel like this would stay on. And honestly, like I'm not mad at this whole face right now. Like I feel like I could go out like this. I did forget to do inner corner and brow bone highlight, so I will just do that now. I'm just gonna use the nude shade again, the same one that I used for my face highlight. So this is my full face of makeup using just the Lorac Pro Palette. I think this is totally wearable. I think the two main things that I don't like about this are firstly, the lipstick color doesn't go with the blush color. That was just because of limited like options in, within the palette. But I think each on their own works perfectly fine. Like the blush color is fine and the lipstick color is fine. They just don't go together that nicely. And the other thing that I don't like is that I know that my um, eyeshadow creases because I have oily eyelids. So even though the eyeshadow looks fine right now, I know that within half an hour, if I went out like this, it would be creased. But those are like the only two things that I'm not happy with. Like this honestly looks absolutely fine. I think this is the perfect palette to do this challenge with because the eyeshadows are really pigmented but they also blend really, really easily. Each time I put one of the face products on, the contour, the blush and the highlight, I thought that it was going to be way too much, way over the top, but they all blended away quite nicely and I think this is just like a slightly more done up look than I would normally have but I still think it looks absolutely fine. And to be honest, nothing looks patchy, nothing looks cakey. This honestly just looks like I've done my makeup like normal. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had a lot of fun filming this. Let me know if there are any other tag videos you'd like me to do. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!